This is how you can code a leave message for your discord.js bot. So let's go ahead and get started. In the last video, I made a welcome command or a welcome message. So if you want to go ahead and check that out, link will be in the description below. And you can also just click on my channel and uh, view that video. Um, but it's the same kind of concept. So we're going to go ahead and define it right here. So we can do const leave equals require dot slash just like this and then leave.js. You can put a semicolon. We can go into our client.on section and we can go anywhere really and we can just do leave and then client just like that. Then we're going to go ahead and create a new channel just like the welcome.js channel so we can call this leave.js. In here we're going to do module.exports uh, equals client arrow function open this up. Um, one thing to keep in mind is if you're going to use embeds you do have to define embed builder above here. Um, but I'm not going to use them, so I'm not going to do that. All right, so we can do client dot on. We can do guild member remove because before we did guild member add, so now we have to remove them. We can do member arrow function. We can go ahead and open this up, and in here we can do const channel ID equals, and then in here we're going to get the channel ID just like we did before. So what we're going to want to do is we're just going to go ahead and go into the Discord, right click on the channel and copy the ID. To get this you might need to turn on developer mode, um, but I already have it on so we can just go ahead and copy the ID. We can go ahead and paste that in here and then add a semicolon. Then we can do uh, console.log and then we can put in member. Now keep in mind, if you are going to do this, you are going to get a big long message about the member in the console. So you can remove this, but I'm going to leave it in. We can go ahead and define a message. So we can do const message equals, and then we can do, we'll, we'll bold it. So we can do member um, just left the server. And again, you can do whatever you want in here. This is completely customizable. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to leave it simple. So we're going to do that. Then we could go ahead and define the channel by getting the channel ID. So we can do const channel equals message.guild.channels.cache.get. Then we can pass in our channel ID variable just like that. So now we're going to go ahead and send the message. So we can do channel.send and then put in our message. So just like before, what we're doing is we're taking our channel ID, we're converting that into an actual channel, and then we're gonna go ahead and send the message in that channel. After you're done with that, we can go ahead and restart the bot and test this out. Just keep in mind, again, if you're gonna use an embed in the message, you do have to define it up here. So if you're gonna do that, it would be like const embed builder equals require, and then discord.js. Um, but again, for me, I don't have an embed in here, so I don't really need this. I did make a small error here, so, um, I did have to remove the console log thing, but um, in here I wrote message, you're going to want to write member. So member.guild.channels at cache.get channel ID. So go ahead and correct that and then we can try this again. All right, now that we have the bot online, I'm just going to go ahead and join. Uh, as you can see, it's going to give the welcome message. And if I go ahead and kick it or leave anything like that, it's going to go ahead and send the leave message. Um, now keep in mind, I'm going to get the DM message um, when you join, but you cannot really send... Um, a message when you leave the server because the bot will no longer be in the server with the user. Uh, so yeah, that's how you can code a leave message. If you need any help, join the server in the description below. We are here to help you. Um, and yeah, with that, I will see you guys in the next video.